My kind of eye, a warm Sunday morning, fair amount of breeze and heat as much. This is not the first time I've been here at this hour. Courtesy of discharge battery, I offered to let the phone charge while I built my thoughts over breakfast at home. Incidentally today, uh, the 17th of February, the Bajaj Dominar completes 25 months. And today, here I am talking about uh, my motorcycle, the Bajaj Pulsar 200 NS. And yes, uh, if you're wondering what brings in uh, so much affluency, as you can see over here, I'm literally reading off a script. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to talk about today, as I mentioned earlier, is the Bajaj Pulsar 200 NS. This is a September 2012 model. I purchased this motorcycle when it was 4,000 kilometers old uh, in the month of February back in 2013 and uh, just to give you a little gist of how and why uh, I decided to take uh, purchase this motorcycle six years back the hunt for a new motorcycle began and it filtered down to uh, two uh, options uh, one was the, the bullet Thunderbird 350 now what I liked about that bike is very comfortable motorcycle it had a backrest for a pillion and it had a 20 litre fuel tank. Uh, if we were to estimate uh, even 40 uh, kilometers per litre, that would give uh, about around 800 kilometers of uh, travel range without refueling, which means I could almost walk into Bangalore uh, on a full tank, uh, being uh, optimistic. Second option was the, uh, the KTM Duke 200, which was launched around the same time. What I liked about the bike, very light, very flexible, and the KTM uh, motorcycle, uh, it was very agile. However, uh, lack of cushioning, uh, the uh, levers, the brake levers, uh, the gear shifter lever, it, it didn't have any adequate uh, space. Now, I wear a size 11 shoes anyone who's got size 10 plus rides a ktm would understand what i'm what i'm talking about it's possible that uh, the company may have made changes over the years however at that point of time i needed something which had the best of both worlds so uh, i got down to uh, reading reviews of other motorcycles i had an option now i already owned a uh, charisma 200 uh, 220 and I was looking for something uh, bigger better and uh, Though I could have gone for the unicorn uh, Dazzler at that point of time I decided to opt out because at that point of time the unicorn Dazzler It had smaller wheels 17 inch uh, wheels also uh, it was underpowered while I would have got uh, a refined Honda I would lose out on other uh, options, other features like uh, I would need for long travel. However, uh, after going through uh, all my options, I finally decided to purchase a Bajaj Pulsar 200 NS. Unfortunately, for certain reasons, I could not go for uh, a brand new uh, motorcycle. So. I went ahead and picked up my Bajaj uh, Pulsar 200 that you see in this video. Now as you can see uh, it's a warm Sunday afternoon and uh, this is my first blog review that I'm doing and uh, uh, I'm just taking a casual walk around uh, this area. This area is in literally in the middle of civilization that you see up front there and in the mountains back over here uh, if you can see in the in the background over there a flag which would not really be visible on uh, this camera that is the Kanifnath temple and uh, we have seen a lot of whenever whenever we have been here before with friends we've seen people come from very far of places now I'm not sure about what the history of the temple is however a lot of people do come here pretty often now moving on uh, for those of you who 
would like to know what were my first impression thoughts uh, about five years back on this motorcycle you can certainly visit uh, the link that I'll be putting in the description uh, to bike advice dot in where you would get first impression uh, details about the motorcycle now coming back to the present at this point of time the motorcycle is almost 80,000 kilometers old and uh, six years now down the line I will share my experiences that I've had with the motorcycle so far so while I'm going ahead and flipping over a page I want to just go, go ahead grab hold of my keys so that we can see what is the mileage up till this moment okay so there I am keying it in okay so we've got a bit of dust okay so those are our numbers 79,754 kilometers clocked by the motorcycle of this I've done uh, around 75,000 kilometers approximately now uh, to begin my review I'd like to take a little bit of a different approach here so I'd like to start right up over here with the headlight now the uh, headlights come with a 50-55 bulb which offers pretty decent lighting but yes uh, uh, good uh, yellow bulbs by other companies like uh, Philips uh, Diamond Vision I believe uh, you've got uh, the Osram, the Boss, you know, you've got all of those options. So it would be a good option to stick with uh, the stock option of bulbs. Refrain from uh, white lights because while they offer good uh, brightness, they really are not that handy when it comes uh, to fog or riding during heavy rains. Now, uh, one other factor that caught the interest of many Bajaj Pulsar enthusiasts, yes, I'm using the word enthusiast here because uh, when I purchased this bike, at that point of time, uh, I was looking forward to joining a, a motorcycle club, preferably if I could get an all-exclusive club, a club for uh, fellow uh, owners of uh, the Pulsar NS. And I joined this uh, group called the Naked Wolves. Now, the Naked Wolves, as uh, uh, the name goes, according to its founder, uh, Mr. Arjun Shankar, he says that, uh, why Naked Wolves? Naked Wolves because the NS typically means naked sports and the headlight of the, uh, of, uh, the motorcycle uh, re resembles that of a wolf. Thus, wolf and naked sports. So, fuse them together naked wolves so uh, a lot of people had a number of modifications that was done now one of the most popular modifications that you get to see online is the the visor so most people would uh, replace this visor that you see over here um, this uh, uh, stock visor would either re be replaced by an FZ uh, visor which was a very popular fitment back then and uh, uh, they would fit brackets or uh, put screws to uh, ensure that the visor has a strong foundation now when Bajaj launched the AS200 I did go ahead and fit the visor however uh, there was a small problem now because I decided to go with standard fitment and mount it, it over here and on this end what happened was that this plastic part over here that you see inside the car that the, the cowl housing over here this uh, actually broke because of the wind resistance so typically when you are mounting the visor you would in addition to these two uh, mounting uh, bolts at the sides you would have to look at options of drilling in uh, two bolts here to ensure that this is firmly in place uh, moving on uh, as you can see on the motorcycle I have got a different set of tires now uh, the stock tires 
typically are uh, 190 or uh, 90 90 and 130 in the, in the back with 17 inch rim size however uh, what i have opted for uh, at this point of time i've got the mrf uh, zapper s1 tires now this is a 140 uh, 70 17 section tire which is found uh, in the honda unicorn now i've tested this tire uh, when offered by, uh, uh, by MRF now this particular tire is a, is a personal favorite because it manages all kind of terrain wet, dry, tarmac, concrete uh, beautiful ro roads like this and uh, in, for the 22,000 odd kilometers that the tire gave me uh, there were no problems whatsoever uh, not a single puncture on the other hand, uh, as you can see over here, I'm using the uh, uh, MRF Nylograp tires. This is called the 54H, apparently. Now, this is a 110-70-17 tire. Uh, this is a non-radial or we can say a biased tire. Now, I really had my doubts about this tire. Now, uh, you cannot see uh, the name from this side, but it says over here, it's a Nilo Grip Zapper FY. Now this tire uh, is uh, uh, an all-purpose tire. Uh, basis is thread, uh, not uh, the usual uh, size. However, in this kind of riding, the tire has uh, held up, held its uh, bargain. Now overall. Uh, if I'm asked what is my favorite set of tires in let's just say the budget range for this uh, motorcycle I would say it has to be the uh, MRF uh, Zapper S1 uh, this particular tire with the FC1 the FC1 uh, by MRF is uh, the same tire that you get to see on the Dominar 400 the KTM Duke 250, the KTM Duke 200, the RC 200, and also uh, the uh, yes, of course, I'm, I'm sorry, yes. So these are tires uh, that you. This is the motorcycles typically where you would get to see it. Now, uh, apart from that, another tire which is a personal favorite is the CR Zoom Rad. Uh, uh, the same uh, set of tires that you would see on a jigsaw or for that matter on the uh, Yamaha FZ16 series okay so moving on uh, yes uh, if you are looking at other options yes the, the Michelin's are there the Mezzalas are there the Pirelli's are there uh, there's a host of uh, tires that you can certainly try out uh, there is also this new brand called Timson which uh, is a promising brand uh, for those people who are uh, planning Ladakh now, uh, uh, later this year in June, July, August and so on, so on and so forth, you could certainly uh, uh, keep RALCO for uh, off-road applications like Ladakh. They are best avoided, uh, at least in my opinion, uh, when it comes to road uh, riding. Now, in terms of lubricants, apart from the stock lubricants, apart from Motul, uh, my personal favorite on this motorcycle uh, is the Drivol Miles uh, 40 15W50. Now this uh, uh, comes in a two and a half liter uh, can, which gives me uh, two uh, two cycles per can. Now, ever since uh, they have entered they entered the Indian market back in 2016, I have been using drywall on uh, the Bajaj in the Bajaj Pulsar 200 NS and I'm really happy with the results now ever since uh, an experience where I drained the oil at 7000 kilometers now those 7000 kilometers the bike took uh, a lot of uh, uh, whatever came at it whatever seasons of riding uh, whatever types of riding and uh, I covered um, those 7,000 kilometers very quickly and in those 7,000 kilometers uh, the bike still felt as good 
as new and uh, thereafter uh, i've not really thought about switching over to a different brand in fact uh, now when the bike completes 80000 kilometers i'm i've got a can of drywall sitting at home uh, uh waiting uh, its turn to go in to uh, this motorcycle now uh when it comes to premium fuels well i'll not take any specific brands here but uh, any kind of premium fuel uh, additives uh, that i have tried on this motorcycle have really worked uh, its charm uh, since i've mentioned uh, drywall yes i would like to mention uh, drywall uh, uh, has a sister company by the name of bluecam and uh, that uh, fuel additive whenever i have uh, used it on long rides it has delivered uh, satisfactory results for more information on this you can uh, check this video by rev explorers where they have spoken about the blue cam uh, 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 fuel additive during uh, one of their rides and uh, this also seem to be very happy about uh, the results with uh, the fuel additive now for those of you who ride in the city and want the best out of this bike my recommendation is keep uh, your rpm levels below 6000 when city riding and uh, i'm sure uh, you will reach uh, uh, 80000 kilometers probably more uh, in uh, your in 6 years and you and you'll still be happy with uh, what the bike has of uh, has to offer you when it comes to the overall life and the wear and tear of uh, the engine now to talk about the engine uh, at around 40000 km in the year 2016 i did a, a engine rebuild and uh, once done uh, i rode the bike off to gujarat uh, it was an awesome ride riding down to surat coming back uh, was pretty pretty happy that even after the engine rebuild the bike performed as good as it was uh, on day 1 when i purchased it now uh, this motorcycle uh, in this past years has not received any kind of uh, engine modifications or structural changes as such uh, apart from probably adding a bit of cushioning on the rear seat now uh, for those of you who are checking the review on this bike you will see that the seats uh, the the rider seat in particular it had a, a white color cover now as you can see this uh, seat it's not the usual cover not just in color now this seat is a seat that i've installed from a company called joy ride now this seat uh, uh, if i am allowed to say uh, a few Uh, good words about the seat now uh, it's been 3 years that i've installed this joyride seat cover and uh, it's kept the rain uh, from seeping in on the seat now uh, today it's it's pretty hot where i am at and uh, i have also observed during summer months the heat stays out of the seat now normally when you park your motorcycle in the sun you're getting onto a hot seat of sorts uh in this case no hot seat so that's that that's a, that's that is of something that impressed me enough and after one year of using this i pre ordered uh the same color uh seat cover for my dominar as well uh in 2016 before i could take delivery of the motorcycle now uh apart from uh what else is on uh, this motorcycle yes i was looking forward to some sort of touring accessories yes there was uh, a short uh, period where we did pro- uh, prototyping with uh, luvia industries for the air accessories that time i found uh, the uh, handlebar raises yeah, uh, f- uh, and uh, the top rack uh, pretty uh, uh, useful uh, cut to the present in terms of what i have uh, recent most recently installed on the motorcycle are uh, uh, this set of uh, engine guards by zana motorcycles 
what I like about Zana Motorcycles uh, Crash Guard, it's a very neat design. Now, along with uh, uh, protecting your engine, this has got, uh, this particular model has got a slider right over here, as you can see on it, which uh, offers optimal protection from a fall. Now, they do have a model that comes without a slider. You can check their website for more information. Now, uh, at this point of time, uh, I have uh, put my action cam. Now, as you can see, the action camera has been mounted uh, front facing to record uh, uh, the rest of this ride after this review. Now, when I came up the mountain here, I had the camera mounted right here underneath with uh the camera angle uh towards the gear shifter so that uh with it upside down it could record uh that particular angle now uh typically uh, uh this uh in this guard also gives me the option of uh, dynamically mounting uh my uh, accessories whether it's action cameras or fog lamps uh, when I'm on long tour now uh, if you would like to know more about the uh, crash guards you can visit the YouTube channel of Phantom Rides where he's given uh, first impression views about the product in addition to other uh, details that he has covered in his uh, review now what I do look forward to when it comes to Zana is a set of uh, a top rack that is uh, likely to go on the rear and uh, complete uh, what I would like to say a supermoto look for uh, the Bajaj Pulsar NS and uh, last of all uh, though it's pretty sunny here you can notice there's a lot of shine and bounce coming off uh, the motorcycle so just like to put in a good word here for the boys at uh, auto hive for uh, getting rid of uh, the broken monogram that was on the motorcycle here and also uh, removing the stickers which uh, refused to come off yes as you can see there have been a few scratch marks here uh, on this area and uh, uh, they did uh, do a good job in getting them removed and uh, giving it a bit of shine. Yes, I understand what you're looking at is a dirty motorcycle. But what good is a clean motorcycle <laughs> if it doesn't suit uh, a beautiful dusty environment like this? Last of all, uh, I would like to thank uh, the team who has maintained this motorcycle ever since I have purchased it. Uh, I would like to uh, give a shout out to uh, team Krishna Bajaj at Fatima Nagar Pune. Uh, in particular, mechanics uh, who have been there most for most of its uh, time is uh, Mr. Vicky Kadam. He has done uh, a fabulous job of taking care of my motorcycle. And uh, last but not the least, uh, in a uh, word of thanks, I would like to thank Bajaj for... Uh, 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 bringing out this excellent motorcycle uh, which was so popular to the fact that uh, after they start production of uh, the motorcycle two years on they decided to relaunch it so yes uh, Bajaj here's uh, uh, a word of appreciation a heartfelt thank you from me uh, thank you for uh, spending your time for those of you watching uh, this video and in case if you have any questions apart from what may not be spoken or discussed about in this review, uh, please feel free to leave your queries in uh, the comment section and uh, I'll be more than happy to reply them. Thank you. Ride hard, ride safe.